Hello, Moreni, Quintanina. Quintano, Quintani. Moreni, Betuna, Moreni, Betuna, Moreni, Betuna, Moreni, Betuna, Siani, Willisa, Moreni, Betuna, Siani, Willisa, Moreni, Betuna, Moreni, Betuna, eh? Champion one. Oh, the champion one. Ufuna sifa ke ez ndoze filter eye pola kukuindandu. Molo molo ngubando kawele ndikuboni. Molo molo ngubando kawele ndikuboni. Molo eni betuna. Molo eni betuna. Molo eni betuna. Molo eni betuna. Siani bulisa. Molo eni. Siani bulisa. Molo eni. Moleni betuna, moleni betuna, moleni betuna, moleni betuna. Siani bulisa, moleni. Siani bulisa, mole. Ninja ni, ni apila. Hey, we namba fani. Unja ni Evanisto. Diagbona, diagbona. Ninja ni betuna ni apila. Ah, na chesi. Ninja ni. We have to go in there and be the ninja. Ni, ni have to learn to na ni. I man bendi ti man kendi zoni kwa. Hi Taylor. We have to learn Taylor and go switch to man mama. You learn and go in there man kendi zoni kwa. Man jen kendi zoni chie. We to na ni. Di ko na di vuki le. Di ko in there man di kendi zos kumbu zinda ba. Inya anga ya makugule na. Evanisto. Eh, put so nabi le molo. Hi, Sean. Repeat, ngwane, su, luna le kai. Hi, Sally, kili hupo, tse kheba tu. Watsiba nako ya urike, khutle le haye, mapule, nsei fiti le. Ha, ha, ha. Ni apila na metu nani. Tamaku, 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 evanisto. Tamaku, mtange, kachiwo. Eh, wemani, eh, wemani, mpafani, hai, ni amdi ya bulela. But so now we're like, hey, the head gear on our leg, yo, yeah, you see where, yo, Christian, ah, it's more than ten years old. Yeah, it's actually, I think it's it's fifteen years old. The head gear, yeah. Mola Duncan, Kunchani, Sia Sanga, Melika, yeah, Molo man, Molo Sia Pila. Eh, look at the fitness, we're on point. Yeah, but I say represent the young I am a kukulena heritage month. So it it is one of my spagas. It's very kuzberry, a puma, a pepin. When they can, eh, in the end they can. You get shown. No, ni ebete. Ufneka ndigendi yo. Shukumi sabanda ne school in sake. So we're gonna do a Zoom call. Na bando na ba ke eskolo nsa ke unoni kuku um so dilindele la onto ke ngongo ndi kona hi man kendi zaman ndi kendi zo chalu zanje ndi kendi ndibone hi Pauline how are you my queen sister I am good woke up feeling brilliant woke up feeling energized and amazing and I thought let me come and say hello to everybody and touch base hello Mkaya Zano Mkaya wa mdeto, abanye, abange ni ndawa, abana yu mkaya kuwe, banga kubiza nga manye makama, mkaya wako uyuwan, di mka. How is everybody? Are you good? Are you blessed? Are you feeling happy? Are you amazing? Nyayaz Mosuku, you always make sure that he's in the picture. How is everybody doing? Are you surviving? Are you coping? It's Heritage Month. We are supposed to be celebrating our heritage and remind each other that heritage is fluid. It uh, evolves. It grows. I see a lot of people, they are still stuck in the old ways. Yes, it's beautiful. It's sentimental. It's everything that we want it to be. But we also have to remember that heritage is fluid. And it evolves. It's like a river. It flows. Our people used to travel, move around, connect, reconnect, do all these things. So it's important as well for us to be instigators of change. And that means also then 
challenging some of the beliefs we have in terms of culture. The beliefs that are now leading women to be susceptible to being in a gender-based violent situations, you know, because we believe we are groomed from a young age to, to think that all we are ever going to be in life is to be, you know, a cook and all those things are attached to that. It's high time that we teach our daughters to, to, to be able to stand up for themselves. We teach our daughters to, to recognize the importance of owning their power, to teach our sons to recognize the importance of owning their power. Yes, initially, men and young men are groomed as well to, to be providers. They are groomed as well to be all those things. But what happens now when one's energy, the male instinct, is challenged by circumstances and situations? So all those things, we have to move along with culture and be fluid with culture so that we protect ourselves and protect our children. So let us challenge the stereotypes. Let us challenge... What's wrong? <laughs> What's happening with my tongue? <laughs> I'm being tongue-tied. <laughs> let us challenge and rethink our beliefs and our belief systems. So that at the end of the day, we're not found wanting. We know who we are. We know what we are advocating for. What we stand up, we stand up for. So it's important for us to relook those things. And yes, women are flowers. And even in the olden days, you know, you would be told that a woman is a flower. So let us let us go back to to holding on to that. But as well, let us reevaluate our belief systems. Gwindando, stop kicking me. Let us reevaluate who we are as a people, where we want to go, and the, the, the lessons that we teach our children about our identity and our culture. Because we cannot continue sitting and every time there is, you know, a situation, whether it's gender-based violence or whether it's patriarchy and all those things that go with that, we're always asking, why is this happening? Whereas we are not self-evaluating and asking ourselves questions about this culture that we hold on to, the belief systems that we believe in. Are we really understanding where they come from and where they are supposed to be advancing us to? Or are we happy to be stuck in one place and say, because my ancestors did this, it means that I have to be stuck in that what about evolution? You know, why, why can't we evaluate all those things? For instance, last month, there was someone who invited me to talk on her Facebook page. And when she asked me, what am I going to be talking about? I said, I actually need to be talking about how toxic we are as women towards each other. Because we also need to, to take responsibility towards how we handle each other. And interestingly enough, the Rahadi thing came I think a week later, and I was laughing because I had spoken, I even, even on my YouTube channel, if you go there, you're going to find a clip that I had recorded, I think two weeks, or, hmm? Can you have a mask? Can you have a mask? Okay, he's asking for a mask, and I know if he wants a mask, next he's going to want us to go into the car. Can't he? I have to record some videos. Oh, you want a mask? I didn't get that one right. Ufuna mas umpoko kumda na says lali ni lena. Ufuna mas I can umpoko. So as I'm saying, guys, during this month, we we we're still in pan, in in a pandemic, of course, and so many things have to be reevaluated. Our mindset, our belief systems, in everything. Let us relook those so that we can advance the cause of humanity. Also to advance the cause of the very same culture that we are upholding, let us even ask ourselves about some of the beliefs that we have. For instance, I was having a conversation with one of my queen sisters called, uh, you would know her, Un Tati Mushesh. 
And we started talking about why, uh, where actually where the belief of putting ash on your windows when there is uh, a death comes from. Where the, 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 the amadaki that we wear comes from, because that's a German fabric, yet we claim it as our own. And a couple of days ago, I saw, I think it was Uzola, Zola Chayana. I think it was him. He was also talking about how we as uh, Africans have, especially in South Africa, we call Benehut our cultural food. Where is that coming from? And he even went as far as talking about how actually in other cultures within the African diaspora, they do not eat Benehut. Benehut, it was, Benehut was meat, the intestines and the insides of the, of the animal. It was not something that was revered to even be, you know, put in a place or be allocated the title of being traditional food. Because it was seen as just, you know, something that you could be cooking while you're waiting for the actual feast. But now it turned around and then uh, talking about how in the olden days, you know, when, when the settlers came in, they would take the best part of the meat for themselves and give us the benehut because they, they, they despise it. It's got, you know, everything. I mean, even the smell is, you have to open all the windows. And if you're cooking benehut, there'll be green flies, literally. That tells you a lot. But how now we have adopted that as our cultural food? Why can't we eat the best? Meat? So it's all those um, ideas that we need to relook because it's, it's small things. It's how we speak to ourselves. It's how we talk about ourselves. It's how we project and articulate our ideas that determines how far and how strong as a people and our culture and heritage is going to stand firm so it's those things that i want us to look at in your space in your space you know you can give me your thoughts even here but i wanted us to look at that because we went into a pandemic you know a pandemic is a space where so many things there's huge shifts that take place and within that space we went in a, a, a different kind of people but when we come out we're gonna come different so it's important for us to evaluate all those things as well. Also, the, the, the behaviors we have towards each other in the, you know, under the guise of culture. I, I could talk until tomorrow. And the oppressive practices that we have adopted under the word culture, you know, in the holding culture. Makoti, makoti. Apparently, that's where it's coming from, where the German settlers, they used to uh, ensure that the, the people who were working in their uh, kitchens, they would be wearing amadaki and they would be sitting behind the door because they are not allowed to be interacting with the guests, but they needed to be close enough in the house so that they does not have to shout, you know. So, and so the... Every time while they were sitting there, they needed to look down, you know, and be looking down and not looking up. And we took that and said, it's our culture. That when someone marries into a family, they must be put behind the door and be wearing the German print, Amadaki, and look down and be spoken onto, you know. We need to relook those things. It's not about revolting but it's about clarity and understanding who we are and what we attach to ourselves and we how we identify and project who we are to the world and ourselves as well and how we are mapping out where we need to be going next so those are some of the thoughts that i have and uh we said <laughs> Ntate and I, we said, you know, we're going to read more because even uh, apparently the ash one is from the Jews and we call those things culture now. 
All right, let me attend to the prince and let me be ready for my class. I'm going to be talking to Mommy, children in Cape Town. Huh? What's that? Basketball. Basketball. Okay, I'll give you the filter. Okay, love you. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. And I hope the few points that are through by your way, they will kind of trigger something. Something positive, because at some point, our children are going to be asking us, Mama, why are you dressed like this? I need to be able to understand or to be able to at least articulate it for myself and also for them, if then I am going to be entrenching these very same beliefs that I grew up with. Queen needs to understand why we wear beads. Queen needs to understand where the beads came from, their significance and if they are still valid at this point in time, what that means in terms of decolonizing our minds and our culture and our belief systems and reclaiming our identity. So those are some of the thoughts that I want to throw to you and stay beautiful, stay blessed. Oh, look at me, I'm swimming. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. I wish I had, you know, you know those lashes so that I can just flatter them. <laughs> Okay, guys, I love you, ladies and gentlemen. Let me love and leave you. Oh, let me see some um, comments. Iske, Iske, ya, ngati, uza uvele, ucho mi yizelo. A ushabe kshoko, meka yizelo. Melika, ya, afuna ni yizelo. This one, I love this boy. <laughs> Whatever mommy does, he does it as well. Don't be pee with more kina. Hi, hi, my princess. And don't be pee diabulela. Yes, kina, let's challenge the stereotypes. Uh, because we need to know who we are and where we, we, we want to go to. We can't continue on the same trajectory that our ancestors were on. Oppressed, you know. Because some of those things, they were oppression. We need now to be challenging and just making sense for ourselves. I'm one of the greatest, you know, cultural advocates, you know. And being a storyteller also means that sometimes I have to, to reevaluate what I'm about. So let's keep on doing that. Hey, Sinsigalelo. Hello, Sichadu. Ah, Sakweb. Yes, my queen. Yes, my queen. Pitch black. Come on to hello. Thank you. Thank you, Aruna. Yes, my queen. Sis, we need to rise. We need to, to make sense for ourselves and, and be purposeful about where we are going and intentional at the same time. So let's keep on having these discussions. Let's keep on. Uh, some. Oh, here's a comment. Some people still see Benahut as a nyama that's not supposed to be eaten. Ganting and Nenis Nabanya Tinakuja, Okba Legaka Kulu. Well, that's a view that I'm challenging. I am challenging that because at the end of the day, based on what now I know or, or the research and what people have been writing about, we need to, to know that. Yes, uh, Melkaya, I'm a dark, it's a German fabric. It's a German fabric. The trickets and all of that. So we have to, to check these things out. Love you too, Sasa Namsaka Zombira. Ooh, Shan Sabawel. Sabawel. Oh gosh, I can't do that thing. <laughs> I don't have the tongue for it. Sabawel. You know, they, they've got a way that they do it. Okay, uh, let me go and do my class. I love you. I'm going to post pictures, Niman. The pictures, Gatsali. Looking all, you know, must <laughs> have a blessed day. Have a beautiful day. Stay positive. Know that I appreciate you. I value you. I love you. <laughs> it's gonna let me miss your husband. Your husband, he put this, this something here that he put on his head. This husband of yours, I go see him. But anyway, we love him. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Uh, have a good day.